This landlocked country in Africa has so much more to it in terms of a lavish lifestyle other than its dramatic landscapes and wildlife. Speaking of the African continent, then you would be surprised to know that amongst all the other countries here, Zimbabwe has the highest number of billionaires. Let's know the day-to-day -day lifestyles of a few of the richest billionaires living here. Strive Maziawa Strive is a London-based business entrepreneur who moved to Zimbabwe in the initial days of his establishment, and then his fortune paid him out. He has an impression fortune of 3.2 billion. It has interest just like any other billionaires out there. Well, we mean keeping an eye out for profitable properties. Strive owns several impressive estates all over the world. For example, one in New York, two adjacent Twin Tower apartments in El Dorado, and a 29-4 commercial office in the Central Park as well. This Central Park property has about 11 bedrooms and all the luxuries at the feet of the billionaire, which is worth $29 million. The entire penthouse has an amazing black and cream color theme, which is spread out pretty evenly in every region of the house, starting from the bedrooms to the kitchen. The best part about this house is the terrace, through which the quarter half of New York is visible, and one can trade almost anything he has to wake up with this view every day. Strive was born in Zimbabwe, but unfortunately he doesn't spend most of his time these days in his own country because he had to flee there due to a monopoly telecommunication business scandal. Currently, the billionaire lives in Africa and in an abode costing about $600,000. Out of all of his properties, his bungalow in London is the one that stands out the most. It has been estimated that this property is worth approximately $6 million, not to forget his $2.5 million mansion in Surrey as well. Strive is reputed as one of the most successful businessmen in the globe, like to keep his properties as private as he can. Speaking about his luxurious possessions, Strive is not the kind of entrepreneur who would invest in fancy cars just to lay them in his garage. Rather, he only owns two cars, two of the best ones, including a Jaguar. Speaking of luxury, Strive is most notably found traveling in his private jet when it comes to business meetings. Just to clarify, the jet belongs to him. This private jet is worth $35 million and is big enough to accommodate at least 19 people. The Zimbabwean billionaire consists the Bible as the best book to be followed in order to flourish one's business because it has all the rights and the wrongs with the correct explanation. This successful entrepreneur thrives to improve the living condition of Africa as much as he can. We'd rather say that he is already a man of an omission. Strive has several nonprofit organizations to his name in which the majority of the funding is done by himself. Philip Cheng Hua. This billionaire has a different notion when it comes to the ways of spending money. Philip believes in flashing all you got without shying away from criticism. Yes, this billionaire isn't afraid to proudly showcase the dollars he's made until now in the terms of owning pricey possessions, such as high and expensive cars. Philip has a huge fleet of cars to his name, which includes a Bentley, a Maybach, and several Range Rovers, along with his favorites, the Rolls Royce, which he takes every day to work. Philip has had a longing affinity towards football, thus he manifested his dream quite well. As a result, he was made the head of the Zimbabwe Football Association, also known as the Zifa, for a while. But it also seems his love for football was overshadowed by his greed for money. Thus he found himself in a huge money laundering case worth $200,000 related to the Football Association. People blamed him for the Zimbabwe team not making it to the FIFA quarterfinals due to the corruption going on in the headquarters. This is the reason why the officials permanently removed Philip from the board of directors and even fined him several thousands of dollars. Shingi Munzea The final billionaire from Zimbabwe is Shingi. Although he has a fortune worth $2 billion, this man does not live like a billionaire at all. His face began to shine after starting the hotel chain. The African Sun, which was a quite well-known chain of hotels in the subcontinent. But the twist in plot arrived after Shingi signed off his position as the CEO of the hotel chain. To become a full-time philanthropist, Shingi turned his path towards being a religious leader and emphasized more of non-monetary positions and despised materialism. Everything seemed fine until Shingi's daughter decided to expose himself on social media, claiming that his dad wasn't the religious servant that he always claimed to be. He had always been unfaithful towards her mother, and this has raised a quite a few questions about the man, as a result, putting him down from the position as well. Click one of the two videos on your screen right now.